Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel JBS TV. Today's video will be all about the early life, education, early career, politics, personal life, and lots more about Bula Hamed Adekunle Tinubu. Stay tuned as we tell you about him. Subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon for more updates from us. Also, like and share this video. Tinubu was born on March 29, 1952 in Ocean State, Nigeria. His mother, Abibatu Magaji, was a trader that later became the Ilaloja of Lagos State. He attended St. John's Primary School, Aroloya, Lagos, and Children's Home School in Ibadan. Tinubu then went to the United States in 1975, where he studied first at Richard J. Daly College in Chicago, Illinois, and then at Chicago State University. He graduated in 1979 with a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting. Tinubu worked for the American companies Otto Anderson, Hayes Kings and Sales, and JTE Service Corporation. After returning to Nigeria in 1983, Bola Tinubu joined Mobile Oil Nigeria and later became an executive of the company and continued working in financial management before entering politics. His political career began in 1992 when he joined the Social Democratic Party where he was a member of the People's Front faction led by Shenho Musaya Radua and made up of other politicians such as Umaru Yaradua, Atiku Bubaka, Abdullah Alihu, Magaji Abdullah, Yomi Edu and many more. He was elected to the Senate representing the Lagos State constituency in the short-lived Nigerian Third Republic. After the results of the June 12, 1993 presidential elections were annulled, Tinubu became a founding member of the Pro-Democratic National Democratic Colonization, a group which mobilized support for the restoration of democracy and recognition of Mushud Abiola as winner of June 12 elections. As a successful Lagos West Secretarial candidate in 1992 under the banner of the Social Democratic Party, after Dr. Sani Abacha dissolved the Senate in 1993, Tinubu became an activist campaigning for the return of democracy as part of the National Democratic Colonization Movement. Although he was forced into exile in 1994, Tinubu returned after Abacha's death in 1998. This triggered the beginning of the transition to the Fourth Republic. He previously served as the governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007 and senator for Lagos West during the brief Third Republic. During his tenure as a governor of Lagos State, Tinubu promised 10,000 housing units for the poor with little achieved. He made large investments in education in the state and also reduced the number of schools in the state by returning many schools to the already settled former owners. He also initiated new road constructions required to meet the needs of the fast-growing population of the state. After leaving office in 2007, Tinubu returned his status as one of most Nigerian influential politicians as his allies often filled high offices throughout the Southwest and he played a key role in the formation of All Progressive Congress in 2013. Over the years, Tinubu has also made great impact in the Nigerian political system. In 2006, Tinubu worked on convincing the Vice President of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, to become the flag bearer of his party, the Ashan Congress. Atiku, who was a member of the People's Democratic Party, then had fallen out with his principal at that time, Olusegun Obasanjo, over his ambition to succeed the president. Tinubu offered Atiku the chance to cross carpet to his party, offering him the slot of his parties of Ben Obi. And although Atiku still went ahead to contest the election on Tinubu's platform in the forthcoming elections, the PDP still won in a landslide with Tinubu backing up the wrong tree. In 2009, following the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party in the April 2007 elections, Tinubu became involved in negotiations to bring together the fragmented opposition parties into a mega party capable of challenging the ruling party PDP. 
In February 2013, Tinubu was among several politicians who created a mega opposition party with the major of Nigeria's three biggest opposition parties, the Ashan Congress of Nigeria, the Congress of Progressive Change, the All People's Party, Nigerian Party, a faction of All Progressive Grand Alliance, and the new PDP, a faction of then ruling People's Democratic Party, into All Progressive Congress. In 2014, Tinubu supported former military head of state General Mahadumadu Buhari, leader of the CPC faction of APC, who had previously contested in the 2003, 2007, and 2011 presidential elections as the CPC presidential candidate. Tinubu initially wanted to become Buhari's vice presidential candidate, but letters coincided to Yemi Osibanjo his ally and former commissioner of justice. In 2015, Buhari rode the APC to victory, ending the 16-year rule of the PDP and marking the first time in the history of Nigeria that an incumbent president lost to an opposition candidate. Tinubu has gone on to play an important role in the Buhari administration, supporting government policies and holding into the internal party rent. In 2019, he supported Buhari's re-election campaign defeating the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. In 2020, following an internal party crisis which led to the removal of Tinubu Ali and party chairman Adams Oshomole, it is believed the move was to settle Tinubu's presidential prospect ahead of 2023 presidential elections. On January 10, 2022, Tinubu announced his intention to run for the pres president of Nigeria to President Buhari. This was a formal form of announcement from him. On June 8, 2022, Tinubu won the presidential primary of the ruling All Progressive Congress scoring 1,271 to defeat Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and Rotimi Amechi, who scored 235 and 316 respectfully. Tinubu is a Muslim. He is married to Oluremi Tinubu, the current senator of the Lagos Central Secretarial District. His nephew Adewale Tinubu is the CEO of Ohando. Tinubu is rated as the second richest politician in Nigeria. His net worth is estimated at 4 billion US dollars or even more. Tinubu holds both the chieftaincies of the Asiwaju of Lagos and the Jagbaban of Bagu Kingdom in Niger State. So guys, that's all we have for you about Tinubu and his biography. Please, if not subscribe to this channel, do so so that you get more updates from us. Like and also share this video. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon in our next video.